We have seen the power of floodwaters recently after one woman was pushed a couple miles down a wash after monsoon rains. Two others died when they were caught in a wash. At least one of them was homeless. The rain could continue to fall this week, and we wanted to know what's being done to keep those who are homeless safe. Fox has Joe Beal joining us with more details on what's being done. So dangerous for all mm -hmm. those people who are living in the tunnels. Absolutely, and after those two deaths, we started asking around, and we talked to one man who was caught up in rushing water and could have died himself. What does he think will help? Well, there is already water in this wash at Boulder Highway, along with people, too. If the water starts coming in here, you have these people right over here. How much time are they going to have to get out? Probably 30 minutes at the most. That's if they know the water is coming. Sometimes it can look nice and sunny in one spot, but raining miles away, and all of that water can surprise people in a hurry. That water comes at such a great force and speed. Well, Philip Perry knows because he lived in a tunnel underneath the city for three years. He told me he had to cling to a ladder once when rushing water flooded the tunnel he was in. I've actually had to spend two and three hours just on the ladder because it came that quick. And sometimes the only way out is up the ladder and out a manhole. I've had to come out of the manhole before. You know, all we would have to do is we go and we pop up the lid and we come out, you know, we lose everything, but we still have a life. Well, Perry now has a place to stay, and he was here feeding and talking with others. We asked him what he would tell decision makers about what would save lives when it comes to flash flooding and the homeless. He says signs telling people to stay away would not be a suggestion. He says people shouldn't be here, but says the fact is they are here and will continue to be. I would tell them, you know, post signs is not enough. There still should be someone comes past and let everybody know, hey, we're really expecting this amount of rain and it would be wise for you guys to get out. Anyway, one person is enough to save everybody down their life. A better warning system for them, and not everybody have phones, not everybody know it's raining. When they're in the tunnels, they could be asleep and not even know it's raining and wake up to water to their waist. Perry says he doesn't live far from here and he will help alert people when rain falls hard, but would like some help. Joe. Now, some nonprofit groups go into those tunnels and washes to do homeless outreach. The city and county do that as well. Now, just a short time ago, officials told me as part of their outreach, when they are made aware of storm activity, about a dozen people were saturated in an area where storms are expected to hit and warn, warn homeless people to get out of those tunnels and those washes. Jacqueline, back to you. Thank you so much, Joe.